Are you here to hurt us? Open the. Oh, he said yes. He said yes. Open the fucking door. Get the fuck out of this fucking room. Oh, he's right downstairs. Oh my Holy shit. Welcome to the Fray Flack Pack, it's Termex here, and welcome back to another Borderlands 3 build video. And in today's build video, I'm going over my Phasmophobia Flack build. Now this build is going to be centered around the new Peregrine, Peregrine class mod. Basically, our rack attacks are going to be dropping a grenade every time we summon them, and we are using a gas call. Now the gas call just got added with the Bloody Harvest event, you guys can farm the gas call from Captain Haunt, Loot Ghost, any source that drops the new Bloody Harvest loot. And now, if you're basically looking for the Vindicator Gas Call, because the Gas Call cannot come anointed, but the Vindicator Roll will allow you to have 20% extra grenade damage, and you'll have the grenade split into two, which is going to increase your damage tenfold. But this build is mainly a fun little build just to apply a bunch of damage with our gas calls. The premise of this build is to have a bunch of gas calls. Yes, we are going to have a terror anointment, and I'll explain how that works. But if you're looking for a full build around terror anointments that will be coming out soon so please stick around so you guys can check that out that will be my flacco lantern build coming out probably within the next week but i have a whole build centered around terror but this is not that build this build is completely centered around the gas call but why are we using a terror anointment if we don't have any anointment on our gas call well, the gas call's special effect is the more terror you have, the more skulls that will be summoned. And the more terror we have, every time we're activating our action skill, we're going to apply terror to ourselves every 3 seconds for the next 18 seconds. Doing this is going to make us have a lot more damage with our gas call and a bunch more projectiles, and it's going to be pretty dang overpowered. Now when it comes to the shield, I am running a recharger with an on action skill and apply terror anoint, but I am just getting the maximum benefits here. If you want to go with an old god, because we are running Urad, which will give us 150% bonus radiation damage on our gas call. But let's say you're going against a fire enemy, pop on the old god and you'll be doing an extra 70% fire damage, which is actually pretty good. But the only time these old gods are going to be more beneficial than our Urad setup is only, only when you're trying to do extra damage on top of a certain element. Because your main source of damage with this build is radiation and corrosive. But then you're going to ask, well, if I have the ASCs on my shield, where do I get the terror? Well, I do have a Maggie in here that you can hold. You just hold this Maggie, activate Rack Attack, hold it in your hand, and it'll do the same thing that this shield does, but it's not on your shield anymore, it's on your gun. If you want to do that, but for the maximum amount of grenade damage, this is the setup you want to be running. I'll have the skill trees on screen right now. I know you guys, it's been a year into the life cycle. I don't need to go through the whole skill trees anymore. If you guys enjoyed that, let me know. I just don't want to bore you guys with the skill trees. Some key points to look into here. We have a bunch of points in Interplanetary Stalker for a bunch more damage. We do have 5 out of 5 in the Grim Harvest to boost our action skill damage, which will help out a lot with our class mod. And as you can see, we have the 50% extra damage from our green capstone when we're at max health. We have 7 out of 5 and eager to impress. So when we get a kill, we get our rack attack back faster. Of course, Lick the Wounds is in this build. And yes, that is basically the rundown of the skill tree. As for your abilities, pop on rack attack along with flock and load for the additional two racks. And rack accelerate so we get an extra charge and extra cooldown rate. As for the pet, we are running with the Spider Ant Scorcher for the 10% elemental damage and a little bit of health regeneration. And now as for the Guardian Rank, I have it disabled. All my builds on the channel have disabled Guardian Rank. I like to test out my builds without all these buffs, all these perks, just flat out vanilla damage and vanilla stats. And as for our Mayhem modifiers, of course we are on Mayhem 10 with Speed Demon for the movement speed, Healy Avenger because it's neutral, Boundary Issues because it's also neutral, and Postmortem because it's the only very hard thing I could tolerate to be honest with you. 
And as you guys can see, I've been doing a lot of farming within the new events. If you guys want to do the event, I'm just letting you know that this runs until early November. Get these challenges done. You're getting a new skin. And I'm actually wearing the new uh, flax skin that comes with the event. I think it looks awesome. This is a really cool setup. And I don't know. This might be my new favorite flax skin. But let's get into the actual gameplay itself. So what is the premise of this? Well, we are holding a URAD weapon, which is, if you don't know, URAD is when you're under 40% health, you're going to be getting 150% bonus radiation damage to all damage sources, it, whether it be your racks, your gamma burst, your grenades, your melee, it, it'll be anything. So we're going to use that to our advantage so we get the maximum amount of damage with our gas call. So we're here. We're going to see what we can do against Agonizer. We're going to use our rack attack. Get some gas calls in here. I apologize for any frame rate issues. That is just what this grenade will do. You can't really avoid that. And as you can see, we have a lot of gas calls here. It is ridiculous. Oh my. Yeah. I, I think it's safe to say that killed him. Yep. And are they going to finish off his core too? Oh my gosh. Yes, finish off the core. Oh, they almost did it. So close. But, you know, it's 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 fun to do this. I think it's actually a lot better. I don't know if damage potential-wise it's better than the fish slap setup, but I prefer it over the fish slap setup just because of the amounts of projectiles that are homing in on enemies. You basically just have to wait, and all of the enemies will eventually die. This is a great build for mobbing and bossing, and I would say that your damage for your own character is going to be a little bit lackluster. Of course, we do have a URAD Monarch, so you're not going to be doing zero damage, but you're not going to be killing as fast as a fadeaway crit stack bot build, if you know what I'm trying to get at here. This is more of a good mix between a fun build and a powerful build. But no, this playstyle is not for everybody. Not everybody wants to rely on their rack attacks and their grenades to do maximum amount of damage. A lot of people want to do the damage themselves, but this is why this is just a little unique build that I want to throw in here. I have about two or three more flak builds coming out. I'm going to try my best to get them out as soon as possible because I know I have a bunch of ideas and I want to get them out for you guys. And if you're wondering why I named this build Phasmophobia Flak, it's a new game that came out that I love. And, you know, it's a good homage to it because, you know, ghost hunting and we're summoning, like, a ghost. I was going to name it Necromancer Flak, but that does, it doesn't sound as cool, you know? We're going to use our rack attack, and there goes the gas call. And look at all the skulls here. They don't have a target right now. Now they have a target. And they're just going to home in on every... Oh, my Jesus. I It's so cool to see all these gas calls go everywhere. It's ridiculous. And like I said before, the more terror you have, the more gas call grenades or skulls that will spawn, as you can see. Oh my Jesus. They're, it's still going. That's ridiculous. They're, if you ever played, if any of you guys ever played Terraria, for some reason this reminds me of a summoner build in Terraria. I don't know why, but it just does. And we do have Megavore along with this build and Leave No Trace. So like I said before, you aren't restricted fully with your damage, but you're not going to be doing the max amount of damage on your character per se. We're just going to let these gas calls do the work for us. I mean, I don't even need to do anything. I could just watch these guys. And we're actually pretty tanky. For having 1 HP, we have almost 85... Yeah, we have 85,000 health, and we are actually... Our survivability isn't suffering that much. And let's say that your rag attacks are being annoying and they're hitting the wall and you're not getting a consistent gas call proc, always throw your grenades and it will do the same thing. But you just get a little bit more damage out of it by doing rag attack and you don't consume a grenade when you have the paragrind on. But the one key thing you do have to remember is make sure you're holding any URAD gun. You're, you're not locked specifically to just the Monarch itself. Of course, you could use any URAD weapon that you have. And I meant to mention on our class mod, make sure you have some sort of splash damage. I just happened to use my Paragrine from my previous uh, Fusser Cluck Flak build that has some good rolls. So I'm just, I'm kind of stuck on using that. Throw some gas calls. Get them. Oh, that was probably way too many gas calls. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, your game sometimes lags if you have way too many out. But be careful with this. A lot of people are already saying that this is broken. And I just think it's fun. It almost looks like you have a modded grenade with the amount of gas call procs that we're getting off here. And I did want to mention, guys, I wanted to say thank you for the support recently on the channel. We are coming up on almost 4,500 subscribers. I never thought I'd make it this far on YouTube. I never thought I'd get 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So the fact that you guys show me consistent support with every video and you guys still show me love on all the new videos, it's actually really cool to see you guys every time. I recognize a lot of you guys in the comments. A lot of you have been here since the beginning, and I just want to give you guys a quick thank you for that. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. All right, we are at Captain Schrant, so let's go down here. We have quite a bit of terror. Use our rack attack and a few um, gas calls. I think the rack attack missed, unless it didn't. 
No, it definitely did not miss. Okay. Well, it made it. <laughs> but yeah, this is a lot of fun, a fun build, but I want you guys to try this for yourselves. And if you do want to try it for yourself and you're on PC, go in the description below this video, download the PC save file. And um, if you don't know how to do that, there's a link to Moxie's video on how to do PC save files if you're new to PC and you don't know how to do all that file stuff. And if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, I do have a trade chat in my Discord if you want to join that. People will probably most likely help you in there. Just tag them and we'll be more than happy to help you get the gear that you need. And another thing, if you're on console and you want to farm for this gear, some key locations I would recommend is Scrap Trap, um, Scrap Trap's Minions. They have a lot of different drops. And I actually got my Vindicator Gas Call coming through Athenus up on here, up, up here, up there. A guy spawned to my right over here that was a loot ghost, and he dropped me the Vindicator gas call. And that's how I got mine. Of course, the way you get yours is going to be different. It's RNG at the end of the day. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to join the Flag Pack. Hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future Borderlands 3 videos. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a terrific day. Stay safe during these times. And me and Scorch Jr. over here, we'll see you guys later.